can you tell the story about there was a game where coach held you out and you're like, I'm not going to go in and say sorry. And then your mom's like, <laughs> your mom's like, Hey, if you're not going to apologize yourself, do it for me. Can, yeah. you, can you retell that story? Yeah, it was, it was, it was just crazy. Cause my, you know, we had played, uh, I think who did we play? I forget who the game we played, um, before Ohio state, but anyway, my, I had a, my, my back locked up for whatever reason. And, and I talked to the trainer. I'm like, Hey man, my back is locked up. I don't know why I can, I can, can barely move. He was like, Oh, don't worry about it. You don't have to practice today. And so I was like, great. But when I walk out to practice, I don't have any Michigan issue stuff on. I just got my school stuff on and coach Carr's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what? He was like, what, where's, where's your, your uniform? I'm like, ah, oh, man, I talked to Smitty. Smitty said I had to practice today. He was like, I don't get in there and put something on then. So I go in, I put some other stuff on, but I, I, I keep my, my white shoes on that I wore to school. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got on your feet? I'm like, what man? <laughs> get in there and put Did your shoes on. Did you know what you was on. doing when you went back in? Like, are you feeling like, oh, coach is trying me a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Uh, but then was this? this was 96. 96. Was, so a week before Ohio State game. And so I came back out and then I'm on the sideline and, and talking with some of the fellas and coach. He singles me. Hey, Charles, come here. We go over there to the offense. Hey, you need to pay attention. I'm like, coach, I'm paying attention. Like, what's going on, man? Well, if you're going to be on the sideline, you're not practicing. You need to pay attention. I'm like, all right. So I walk on the sideline. A few periods go by. He calls me back over there. Watson, get over here. I'm like, Damn, what is going on today, man? Go over there. Hey, if you're not going to pay attention, you can just leave. And I was like, "All right, I'm out." So I left. I went no back way. to the I went back to the dorm, and a uh, little time passed, day or two. Ago. I don't know. I can't remember the timeline of that, but I get called down by my position coach, Vance Bedford. He's like, "Hey, listen, coach wants to talk to you. When you go down there, just go ahead and apologize, and then he's going to let you play this week." And I was like, "Coach." Nah, I'm not apologizing. He's like, listen to me. Just apologize. So I go down there. Me and Coach talk a little while. And uh, he's like, ah, you know, do you think you justified yourself by walking out of practice? I was like, yeah, man, because I don't feel like you got to make an example out of me in this whole thing. He was like, all right, well, you ain't playing this week. I was like, all right. I got up and walked out. Went down there to, to back to Coach Bedford's room, and he was like, all right, what did he say? I said, I'm not playing this week. He said, boy, I told you don't go down there and say nothing but just apologize. Hold on a minute. He gets on the phone. My mom answers. Miss Woodson, I told this boy don't go down there and say nothing. He called your mom. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to do it, man. He called my mom, man. And uh, my mom gets on the phone. What's going on? I'm like, I'm not playing this week. She's like, why? I was like, man, you know, me and coach got into it and this or that. And coach wants me to apologize. My, I ain't apologizing. She was like, okay, well, well, we'll just do this. If you're not going to apologize for yourself, apologize for me. And I was like, yeah. Hey, are you kidding me? She broke me. So you went in she there broke, and did it. So I, I, man, I had to bend. You talking about bending the knee? I had yeah. to bend the knee, man. Mom's, mom's. And so I went down there and I was like, coach, man, you know, it's my bad, man. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have walked out of, of practice. And that, that's all he wanted. He was like, all right, you're playing this week, so. <laughs> Charles leaves you. Walking in the hall to the office, and kind of hit the door like. Hey, you should have you saw, <laughs> yeah. saw how slow I walked down there oh, to his I office bet. too. I, was, I bet, dude. You I was. Up a, I was fuming, yo. You brought up Schmitty, who is Schmitt, just a yeah. Michigan like yeah. the, the head trainer for the longest time. He's the guy that like okay. you get an X-ray. He'd be like, Schmitty, what'd the X-ray say? X-rays don't talk, friend. Yeah. You kind of keep walking. <laughs> yeah, smart, <laughs> smart Alex. Smart Alex. Schmitty and then uh, Big John. Big John. Oh, Do you man. have any Big John stories? Because I'll, I'll preface one real quick. So obviously I was in the dark ages of Michigan with Rich Rodriguez and Brady. No disrespect to them. It was just that time that the alum would come by and be like, hey, y'all suck. And that's just what the yeah. word is. It's tough always having the, the guys in the 90s. I like know. we had that too where guys, but hey, you guys aren't. You're well, we like, had, a, when we were at the Ohio State game this year, some guys came up and we were talking. They're like, hey, what years were you there again? I was like, oh, 9 to 13. They're like, oh, yeah, that's that's a tough time. <laughs> but when Rich Rodriguez, I'll bring that up. When Rich Rodriguez first got the job, there's a story that Big John would go and at like 5 in the morning and get on the elliptical in the weight room, butt naked. Nothing. And he was like a sloppy body cat. Yeah. And he was just, just butt naked on the elliptical, sweating, dripping everywhere, all over the place. And he was just, and like the most fun way, like a crude, 
like over the top, like kind of just a horny old guy. But he yeah. was like just a stable <laughs> for a while, dude. That being said, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have the stories. Like some of my teammates have more in depth stories of, mm-hmm. of Johnny, but Johnny was Big John was kind of like, uh, uh, like family guy. You know what I'm saying? Like just inappropriately. Funny guy, yeah. you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like you'd be like, you always got one the, on the oh, squad. Most, be like, like, for everybody watching, <laughs> yeah, the most innocent, fun way possible. <laughs> yeah, We're not yeah, trying yeah. to soil like, Johnny. What? Johnny? He, did, he did. He said what? He did yeah. what? Right. You know. So yeah, he he was he was that guy, man. But he he was a great guy. But yeah, it was a lot. A lot of stories. A lot of stories <laughs> on Big John. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of stories I can't I can't tell. I can't yeah. Tell. Yeah. What uh, dude? What was it like? I know you've probably been asked this so much, but what was it like? Winning the Heisman over Peyton Manning. I mean, it, and two, it's like it's Peyton Manning. You know, quarterbacks. Who it was? It was also Ryan Leaf Randy, that year. Randy Moss. Ryan. Randy Leaf. Moss, but yeah. the quarterback Peyton Manning. He's got the the complexion for the protection, yeah. <laughs> and you end up you end up winning the Heisman, like being a two way player. Uh, what was that like when you won that? Yeah, it was, it was what's crazy is that we got three three first ballot Hall of Famers on there. Me, yeah. Peyton, and and Randy. Um, Damn, poor and Lee. then at, at the time, you know, yeah, you got uh, Ryan Leaf there, who everybody thought, man, shit, he's gonna be the guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Even with him and Peyton coming out, a lot of people had Ryan Leaf ahead of him. Um, but the, the the thing about it is that, you know, I, I thought throughout the season, I thought I played myself into a position where people recognize who I was as a player, and I thought I was the best player, but I didn't think I was going to win the Heisman, like. There was no way, you know, I was going to win the Heisman over Peyton Man. It just wasn't. It wasn't going to happen. You know, the whole season coming in, I think he had came back for his senior year right. that year. So, you know, that was that was really all of the talk. You know, Unfinished business oh, year. Peyton Man, he came back for his, you know, his senior year. Like, wow, what he's doing for the university. He's coming back for his guys, and he's coming back to win the Heisman Trophy. Like, that was a foregone conclusion, and so. You know, season carried on, and what was great is watching um, the thirty for thirty that they just had yeah. that came out, and because a lot of stuff you don't you don't remember, um, but they had that that little ranking each week of who was ahead. Like you had Peyton, and then it was um, shit. It was a running back. I saw maybe it was Tavian Banks or something. Like Tavian Banks, and then like I was down here on the bottom, and then I might move up, and then. Peyton may move down and then this guy may move up. So it was really interesting how it kind of played out throughout the year. And then when Michigan State happened and the one hand catch happened, then I kind of stayed steady in a certain place. And then Penn State happened, um, playing both ways, um, caught a caught a touchdown pass that game. I'm playing against uh, Jura Vicious. And uh, I remember they asked me before that game, you know, did I think before or after, did I think I was the best player in the country? I was like, yeah, I'm the best player in the country. But still not thinking they're gonna, you know, I'm not winning. Or like put you over, you yeah, know, like a Peyton yeah, Manning. not gonna happen. Because it's such, a, it's such a like a focused position, yeah. driving numbers. Like your yeah, it's range a numbers, is it's deeper. A numbers game. Yeah, it's a numbers game, you know. And so, and then Ohio State happens, and then here comes you know the ceremony, and it's like I'm de- I'm I'm there in New York to have a good time, hanging out with Randy, hanging out with all the guys, and just this is this is a cool experience. And then, you know, Rudy, Rudy Risker, I believe it was, opens an envelope and he's like, from Michigan. Oh, man. It was like my whole body just went limp. And, and if you watch it, you see Randy on the side. He's like, get up. So he nudged me. I'm like, damn. That's I just won. What was saying. the highest you got on the list like throughout the year to where – Maybe you had an inkling, like maybe there's a dog. No, I like think I, I think shot. I got up. I think I got up to one, I believe. Um, and but it, it kind of it just rotated, so it was one and two, right? And then maybe three, then two, then one. So it was it was kind of cool, you know, to 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 see some of the footage because, like I said, a lot of that stuff, man, it's a long time ago for me. But a lot of stuff you don't you don't remember interviews that you did, mm-hmm. you know, certain things other people said. Um, so yeah, man, I, it was cool to relive that. How people don't talk about this, but like you win the Heisman, obviously it's such a surreal moment. Your blood's pumping. Like, how stressful and nervous were you giving the speech, accepting your Heisman trophy? Dude, I didn't have. Yeah, I didn't have. No, I didn't have. I had nothing. Yeah, I had you, nothing. Hey, thank you. 
family. Yeah. You're like, yo, this is insane. Like, probably, yeah, probably, without, probably without the footage, he probably doesn't even remember, like, giving well, a speech. Well, well I, I remember, um, you know, getting up and, of course, um, you know, thanking my mom. And then and then I, I know I probably did. I made some reference to somebody else who I thought should have won it but didn't win it. And then finally they got it right or something, yeah, <laughs> something, yeah, yeah. something oh, crazy God. like that. But I didn't, I didn't have a speech because so I was like, like I said, I'm here to just enjoy this moment. And you I write, get up. You didn't write nothing down. No, it is kind of, it's, it's no. kind of a, a bad look. Not a bad look, but when they pull out the crinkle piece of paper and they, kind yeah, of yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't like to do that. Just uh, as a general rule, I, I don't like to read from anything. If I, mm. if I'm talking, I just like to talk. Um, but yeah, I, I went there, man. Just psh, not, nothing, man. Just, do you uh, when you think about like the college football landscape now, all, all the NIL stuff? Whew, how would you, you had to be going crazy? You'd have probably, you would have been. I mean, you've been a seven figure cat. I got, I got but one. Hey, yeah, I, I got one year left. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get after? I got, it. I got hey, one year. Left. Yeah, just hey, like ride yeah. the bench, but I make seven figures. I'm just how saying. Many plays? Yeah. How many plays do you think you could give to a college game? In college. Right, right now, if you played college. Oh, I'll run that shit right now. You think no, so? You don't think no, you'd be blowing on. a hammy out there? Co- no. Nah. Hey, listen, I don't know if anybody told nah. you you got a little, hey. a little salt in that beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. Come hey, on. A little bit, a little bit. Hey, I believe in Charles yeah, Woodson. Yeah, but. yeah. I still run around a little bit. I still get yeah. after it. Yeah. yeah. I give, hey, I give, him, I, give, I give him some work out there, straight up. Bro, in college? You playing corner? Oh, yeah. I, I could play anything, anything. 